as I said, Honorable Speaker, over the weekend elsewhere, respect is earned. Respect is earned. Honorable Speaker, there are members of parliament here who have suffered. Members of parliament from Nyeri will tell you how much they have suffered. The women rep for Baringo County, if she had an opportunity, Honorable Speaker, she would tell you the unpalatable words that have been used to describe her. Honorable Speaker, and I said, let us earn our respect as leaders. If I demand respect, let me respect the member of parliament for Baringo County. Let me respect the members of parliament from Nyeri. Let me respect the members Honorable of parliament Madenge, who do you want from, to from Mount Kenya and across the country. Who do you want to inform? Madenge. Yeah? Majority wind up. Thank you, thank you, Honorable Speaker. Order, Madenge, take your seat. No, the, the member for Nyeri, I think, uh, had me mentioning how much they have suffered. Honorable Speaker, maybe I would allow him one minute to inform me. He wanted to inform you. Do you want information? I, I, would, I would oblige him to inform me. One minute, Madenge. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I speak on behalf of the six elected members of parliament in Nyeri County. And this also includes both the senator and the women rep. We have really suffered intimidation and blackmail. And it is imperative that as elected leaders, we be allowed the space to execute the mandate that the ordinary people in Nyeri gave us when they voted for us. It is not possible that the people of Nyeri voted for us so that we can follow an individual when that individual goes dancing, drinking moratina, and eating nyamachoma. It is not possible. We, and it's not even in Nyeri. It is in, uh, the, 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 the dancing is happening in Honorable Kejori's constituency. We want to speak from the floor of this house and inform the country that respect is two-way. You cannot dis disrespect us in other constituencies and expect us to maintain the respect that we have accorded you for the last two years. Respect is earned. It is not demanded. It is not coerced. You've made it your is not information. Enforced. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Wind up. Wind up, majority. Th leader. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Allow me to end up, Honorable Speaker. By just uh, saying, I was saying, Honorable Speaker, just was the Honorable DMM has said that as national leaders, let us earn our respect. Let us not demean other leaders. Let us not coerce. Let us not intimidate other leaders. And more importantly, Honorable Speaker, let us not seek to blackmail anybody, whether it's members of parliament, whether it's government institutions, or any other officer serving in government, Honorable Speaker. In conclusion, Honorable Speaker, as leader of majority, I have said it elsewhere, and I'll repeat it on this floor, Honorable Speaker. I will never, for the time the Almighty God will give me the opportunity to serve in the office of leader of majority, allow anybody to demean any member of parliament, whether you are in the minority, in the majority, whether you come from the same village with somebody or not, I will never sit back and I will protect the rights of all members of parliament as their leader and as a leader in this house, Honorable Speaker, because in doing so, I believe I am protecting the dignity of not only this house, Honorable Speaker, and individual members, but the dignity and honor of the people who have elected these members of parliament. With those many remarks, Honorable Speaker, I may commit that I will ask, I will be writing to the Cabinet Secretary of Defense to answer more substantially to the issues raised by the Honorable Jared Okay. Thank you. As you do so, the Honorable Minority Leader has requested me to give him a minute on this, and he'll be the very last. And take into account what he'll say in what you intend to... Uh, th thank you, Honorable Speaker. I really didn't want to speak to this, but I think it is my duty to raise my voice 
or on such a weighty matter. Honorable Speaker, let me start by saying that it is not in our place as a Zimio coalition in the House. It's not part of our responsibility to meddle in the affairs of the executive. 